the one thing that I want to start with, Mr. Singhania, in this conversation, and welcome, great to speak with you on NDTV Profit, are the concerns that um, FADA has put out on inventory levels and cash flows? So, uh, yes, uh, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, uh, FED has been uh, raising the red flag in terms of inventory for the past few months. Uh, I think uh, uh, though, even though we are preparing for the festive season and the outlook looks decent for the festive season, the inventory level continues to increase on a month-to-month -month basis. The wholesales are always higher than the retails and uh, that is what is troubling the uh, dealers quite a lot. Uh, I do hope uh, uh, the anticipation of uh, uh, October month wherein you know uh, the, uh, we have the Navratra as well as the, the Bhavani, both the festival falling in one single month uh, falls in place and we do have certain inventory corrections or else uh, uh, dealers would be in a bad state uh, holding heavy inventory after the festivals. Manish, uh, the fact is that OEMs have been reducing their dispatches last two months to deal with this inventory level. They've done it in August, they've done it in July as well. Uh, don't you think that will ease some pressure? So, uh, while the OEMs talk about uh, on the year YOY dispatches, but if you look at it, month to month dispatches compared to uh, the retails, in fact, we have added 30,000 vehicles in stock additional in the month of July and August. So um, comparison cannot be made on a YOI basis. It has to happen month, month on month. And it has to, the wholesale has to align with the retails. Say if a particular OEM is retailing 20,000 vehicles and the, for them the dispatches is 22 or 23,000 vehicles, obviously it will add to the inventory. So that is the situation. They need to understand, uh, realize where they stand in the market and accordingly plan for dispatches. Okay, so, you know, what is, Mr. Singhania, what is noteworthy is that when we hear from CM or we hear from OEMs, the picture is slightly different. And, you know, when we're hearing from you, we're hearing what's happening on ground in that sense. Um, do you expect this inventory mismatch to ease because of festive season? Are you seeing enough, you know, initial inquiries? So, see, uh... Uh, please understand when uh, FDA quotes an inventory of say two-wheeler industry, we, quote, we are quoting an inventory of 15 to 20 days. Nobody questions that inventory. Or when we were quoting an inventory of 40 days for passenger car vehicles in the month of February, March, nobody questions this data. But when, as soon as the inventory level goes high and we are quoting this is the real situation of the industry, then why these questions arise I fail to understand. We are tracking historical data in terms of Vahan retails and wholesales, which are declared by SAM itself. And we have concrete data on, on basis of data, we uh, declare the inventory figures. So I don't see there is any doubt or questions on the inventory. Uh, it is a uh, problem with the industry, but the OEMs should understand and take action. If the health of the dealership is not good, obviously the dealership would be in bad shape. As for the uh, Upcoming festival season, we do expect a, a good festival. All the things are positive, except for the uh, rainfalls that has been, you know, above normal uh, by almost 16%. And uh, if you see the rural two-wheeler sentiments, it has drastically affected the rural sentiments in there. And we are seeing a uh, sales decline in uh, from the rural sector uh, in terms of uh, two-wheeler retails. So that's a, a point that is worrying to us. Uh, for the month of September also, uh, IMD has projected above normal rainfall. All this will not be good for the cropping season and hence the rural economy, that is what is expected that additional retails will be coming from the rural sector this time. Uh, if the rural economy or rural sector gets affected, then the growth will be very difficult to come by. Mr. Singhani, I just want to understand what is the current inventory levels you're holding for two-wheelers and, and for passenger vehicles? So, uh, for passenger vehicles, it is 70 to 75 days and mm. two-wheelers, it is 18 to 20 days. Okay. Two-wheeler dealers are, in fact, striving for stocks. They uh, really want uh, few OEM dealers. Uh, they are, just don't have adequate stock levels uh, to go by and uh, are not enough prepared for the uh, festival season. Mr. Raja, it's also Samina joining in. There's so much of talk around the EV space. You want to tell our viewers uh, what are the current demand trends in the EV space? So... 
uh, elite uh, penetration we did see uh, some tick there and uh, uh, two wheeler has reached a penetration of almost 7% now uh, after a long time and uh, uh, we were we had some confusion about uh, regarding the EMPS extension that is now in place and we are also expecting uh, fame three uh, rolling out uh, two wheeler uh, four uh, passenger car penetration continues to hover around uh, four, uh, two percent so not much of action there but uh, good thing is that uh, two wheeler uh, EV has started seeing some traction also. Uh... Have you seen any impact on sales as the government uh, plans to roll out new emission norms? Uh, has there been any significant uh, noticeable impact? Uh, come again? I said with the government looking to roll out new emission norms, have you seen any impact on sales already? Not now, but uh, right now, no. Are I, you uh, anticipating that there could be an impact, a material impact? Uh, new emission norms you're talking in terms of BS7? Yes. So that's a long way to go away right now and uh, uh, considering uh, BS and uh, 7 emission norms, the retails are not get, uh, getting affected or impacted right mm. Mr. Singhania, you have also said in your note today when you put the numbers out uh, this morning that FADA is urging banks and NBFCs to control funding to dealers with excessive inventory. Can you tell us why? Can you explain this please? See, uh, whenever a dealer goes bust, uh, the biggest loser is obviously the dealership itself and uh, uh, the financing arm, where whichever bank or NBFC, they have invested a hell lot of money in the uh, dealership business, they also tend to lose. Obviously, the OEM also tend to lose because setting up a, non, a new dealership, it's a long-term process. So nobody wants a dealership going bust because of uh, financial constraint. And uh, uh, there are, there, there, uh, due to wholesale pressure, there are sometimes uh, uh, pressure from the OEM to build or extend funding uh, facility to the dealership so that the billing can happen more. What we are, uh, what we'll be writing to banks and NBFCs is that it should be the choice of the dealer to disburse the fund or extend the fund for the festive season. It should they should not uh, get pressurized by the OEM and build extra or extend the uh, limits of credit facilities to the uh, dealers so that the dealer can uh, additionally already the dealer is at a very high paid up stock additional stock will only add with the inventory so uh, we want financial prudence there uh, from the banks from the NBFCs as well as dealership and we are also asking OEMs to uh, have financial prudence so that dealer remains profitable in, uh, uh, even after the season Last point, uh, Mr. Singhania, now you've talked about the festive season, you're hoping things pick up. Um, are there big discounts uh, on the horizon? What are you hearing from OEMs? So yes, uh, see, whenever, uh, whenever uh, inventories are there, uh, OEMs also are also worried about the high inventory levels at the dealership. We are seeing a lot of price cuts happening uh, in various uh, models uh, and a lot of OEMs have come forward with price cuts. Discounts have increased uh, to an all-time high. And uh, uh, I mean, it's a very uh, attractive time for uh, consumers to buy. But still, I think uh, somewhere looking at to the retail figures, consumer... You are saying discounts have increased to all-time high. Which companies are offering which discounts? So, uh, I don't want to be specific, but definitely uh, average discount is now hovering around 10% of the vehicle value. No. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, that is uh, the FADA president, uh, Manish Singhania talking about uh, the numbers for August. <laughs>